Welcome into RedRaiders.com. I am Krista Pirtle here at TD Ameritrade Park in Omaha. This is part of the Grand Slam coverage of Texas Tech in the College World Series brought to you by RaiderDikesAutoGroup.com, a proud supporter of Texas Tech sports for more than 13 years. Isn't this a beautiful ballpark, ladies and gentlemen? And Texas Tech is getting ready to take on TCU at 2 p.m. on Sunday here in this beautiful ballpark. But first, the first half of the bracket gets things going as Oklahoma State opens things off against the UCSB Gauchos at 2 p.m. on Saturday, followed by Miami and Arizona in that game probably around 7 p.m. on Saturday. And then Texas Tech kicks things off on Sunday afternoon, followed by Florida and Coastal Carolina later that evening. Now, Texas Tech and TCU are obviously no strangers. The two have played each other three times so far this season. The two teams also opened up College World Series played two years ago against each other here in Omaha. So they've played each other before in Lubbock, in Fort Worth, and in Omaha. So this will be quite the setting for these two teams. Steven Gingery is, get, is getting the start for the Red Raiders. Excuse me. Some people were a little bit surprised as to why Davis Martin didn't get it. But Steven Gingery did prove that he deserved it with his performance five innings against East Carolina in the 13 inning win for Texas Tech last weekend. Stephen Gingery said that his go to pitch is his changeup. That's one thing that Coach Hayward works well with a lot of these guys is working on their changeup. He said if that changeup gets down and in the strike zone, it's hard for opposing batters to figure out his timing and then he comes back with the fastball and it's game over. It's going to be important to throw those strikes because TCU is a team that separates balls and strikes really well, like Texas Tech. The Red Raiders have 336 walks on the season. TCU has 305. So this game might be a long one if you are a Florida or a Coastal Carolina fan. Probably don't get here right when it says the game will start because it might be a little bit later than that because this game, this game could go on for a while. Watch that. Luke and Baker is hitting, I think, at least 500 in the postseason. The dude, he is a huge freshman. They call him Thor. When you see him, you will understand why. The dude is hammering balls out of parks left and right. Watch out for him. He is the best hitter on this TCU squad, and they have some guys that can hit around him, but it's not as deadly a lineup as what Texas Tech has with the Big 12 Player of the Year in All-American hitting in the sixth hole. A lot of people ask me, is that right? Are they trying to wake him up. Why is he in the sixth hole? And I'm like, he's been there pretty much all season. That's where he is because people can't pitch around him. You've got Nesloni in front of him in the five spot and Ness came alive in the Super Regional. It's kind of what he does in Super Regional play. He was huge two years ago. This past weekend, he was named the National Super Regional Player of the Week after his performance. So you've got Nesloni in front of him and then Usually in the seven hole, you've got Hunter Hargrove, who has come on strong since at the start at ACU um, back at the end of April. So he likes to do a lot of loop singles to the outfield or a lot of sacrifice flies to score runs and make an impact. But starting things off for Texas Tech in that lineup is Steven Smith. The bull, as people call him affectionately, down in Lubbock, Texas. He had a very powerful regional, and then in the super regional action, it wasn't as powerful. It, it was more of drawing walks and getting on base that way. So look for that from Steven Smith. Then Tanner Gardner is huge at the plate. He's had quite a few multi-hit games so far this postseason. Corey Rayleigh did not have a great super regional look for him to come alive. But I could keep going through this lineup, but you're probably tired of that. I actually went through a lot of this stuff, breaking down, down Texas Tech and TCU with the Horned Frog beat writer Carlos Mendez. You can check that out on iTunes for now. The music is starting and it's fixing to drown me out here at the opening ceremonies at the ballpark in Omaha, so I better get going. They're cutting me off. I'm Krista Pertle. Check me out on Twitter. And for everything Texas Tech baseball, check out LubbockOnline.com and RedRaiders.com. We'll see you next time.